Good morning, Quinnipiac, and welcome to the morning after. My name's Sam Catapano. Alongside me is Nick Frias. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. How was your weekend, buddy? Not bad. Not bad, Sam. And just want to say it's good to be back with you up here. Bro it's fest. been a while. Bro fest. Bro, bro on bro and host today. The way it um, should be. It's the way it always should be, really. But my weekend was good. Um, Let me hear about it. Let's see. Friday, I did a very impromptu trip to Mohegan Sun once again. Ah. Uh, I was on the shuttle around 2 o'clock, and my friend said, hey, want to go to Mohegan? And I'm thinking maybe, like, Saturday. And I'm like, yeah, sure, when? He goes, in an hour. And I'm like, all right, Spur let's go. Yeah, let's go. So we get there, and I play blackjack. That's my game at the $10 table. I lose 80 bucks real quick, so I cash in for another 60 And then by the end of the day, I cashed out with $600 total, which is a profit of $450, everyone. That is well done. So that was my weekend. The highlight was my winning at Mohegan. What about you, you, bud? Just feeding your gambling addiction, but I, I support it as long as you're doing well. I love my addiction. Mohegan has paid me $701. I have currently won 250 from Mohegan, That's so I'm hoping good. to continue. That's pretty uh, good. My weekend, which is more important than Nick's, uh, even though your sounds pretty awesome, dude. <laughs> I actually went down south, went to North Carolina for the weekend. Um, I hate flying, so I took the train down at midnight on Thursday and didn't get in until around 6 p.m. It's a little late, but anyway, I had a great time. I was visiting my uh, a friend of mine who I lived with in um, uh, Manhattan this summer when I was working on my internship. Mm -hmm. uh, just a nice break. I don't know. Good. It's better. They know, they know how to get down in the South. That's they do? Yeah. Is the whole like Southern hospitality thing real? Definitely there. Real? Definitely yeah. there. They're just really welcoming, really nice. Uh, there's one thing that I didn't, we didn't get stopped by, but they have a, 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 a restaurant chain called Bojangles. Have you heard of this? Bojangles. I, the, yes. Okay. Yes, I have. It sounds awesome. I didn't get to Is eat it. Is it ribs or like It's barbecue? like Cajun style fast food. So okay. it sounds dangerous, but it's actually. That sounds actually quite enticing. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll fly down. We'll we get, should. We'll That'd get be a nice trip. Face your fears and we'll get some Cajun style food. That would be a sweet trip. But also this weekend is parents weekend. So right. I know a lot of people are going to be showing their parents the school, especially for the freshmen, because maybe they haven't seen it a whole lot yet. Mm -hmm. So that should be a lot of fun. But I know at least... Starting sophomore year, my parents were like, let's not stick around campus. So, at least last year, we went to Foxwoods, but I wasn't 21, so all I could do was play bingo with my mom. But to feed my gambling addiction <laughs> even more, we're going back to Mohegan on Saturday. And hopefully that luck will continue. I here. really hope. It probably will. I mean, I'm probably just jinxed myself, but mm -hmm. knock on wood. But your parents are coming this weekend, though? Yep, they're coming Saturday, spending the day, and then I think they're going back Saturday night. So okay. it should be fun. Get to see my parents. I haven't seen them since I moved in. Are you just coming? Are you going home? My, no. My folks, I think like, my mom and my little brother are coming. Not on Parents Weekend, but okay. they're coming a little later. All right, that's not San bad. San Francisco, they got to figure out the flights yeah. and stuff. But Any big plans you have with them? or Not really. Like, I'm carless, so I am make, too. which makes me very inefficient for, mm. as far as bringing people around. But I don't know. My main thing is probably just go to Brownstone, my favorite diner. I love Brownstone. Why don't they keep it open 24-7? I don't, because... A crop makes a lot of business because they, they are twenty four seven. They are twenty four seven. You can get, but brownstone I think is like way better quality. No offense to any of you A crop lovers, I'm not a huge fan personally. I like them both, but mm -hmm. I think brownstone would be able to compete a lot better if they were open more. Absolutely. Yeah. And I don't understand. You're right. I don't understand why they're not. And their food is really good. Their home it fries. Really I love the home fries. Have you had Townhouse? No, where's that? It's next to the Clarion. It's a new discovery. Anytime, anytime I discover like a new place, it's really, like extremely I want to find every eatery, like small family-owned eatery in Hamden, and just try everything on the menu. Because I feel like there are a lot of hidden gems here. Let's starve ourselves for a day, and then we'll just go on a spree. You let me know when. Okay. You let me know say. when. That sounds delicious. I can't wait. We don't have a car, though. Oh, God. Kate. Do we really want Kate to come? Kate, if you're watching, maybe not pick us up. We'll figure out a ride. It's we'll fun. figure it out later. Um, but on another note, you can tell it's fall because the leaves are turning colors. It's getting a little orange and a little red and a little yellow. And it's getting a little cold, too. But it's football weather. It is football weather, but maybe Taylor will tell us if it's going to get warmer at all. Let's see how the week goes. What do you got, Taylor? Thank you, Sam and Nick. Temperatures have finally dropped out there, and it's officially beginning to feel like fall. Today is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 58 and low of 46. Tomorrow, there will unfortunately be a rain shower with a high of 62 and low of 48. Moving on to the weekend, Friday will be partly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 39. Saturday will also be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 50. Finally, Sunday will be cloudy with a high of 56 and low of 55. That is all I have for you guys. Back to you. So the weather doesn't sound like it's, it's getting worse. I'll say that. From a 
an enjoyable, warm standpoint. I'm not going to be able to wear shorts is what I'm gathering. I'm used to wearing shorts, too. I am, too. I mean, I don't mind wearing jeans or jeans. I mean, one of the pants. beauties it's... of Mondays is Nick's, Nick's, uh, Nick's fabulous, fabulous calves. My, I've been, you know, I've show been told off. they're pretty good. It's okay, good. we can show look them off. At, look at that. Look, right? There's nothing like, nothing oh. wrong with that. Okay, well, we won't show those off anymore. <laughs> no, but, but it's, I'm ex at the same time, it's not like it's bad weather, but it's just like, it's We're the not transition. Used to it yet. It's the transition. We're not used you know, to it yet. exactly. Once it's once we get back next semester, it's going to be bleh. Well, unless it's like last year, where we had opposite weather for the time of that year. Was strange, like, December could be it snowed degrees. once in October, and yeah. then it didn't snow again until like February, February like mid February, or even March. And the weird thing in San Francisco, we're dealing with an Indian summer right now, which is like, and it happens in the first two weeks of October. It's actually been like ninety degrees in the past two weeks in San Francisco. I kind of miss those days. I do too. A little bit, but. In the meantime, we'll be right back. We We're going to go to a quick commercial break. But yep. stay tuned. Do not change the channel because the consequences will be very harsh. Radish. Is that for horses? Remember me, Mr. Lobster? From last Tuesday? Banana. 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 Here comes the rain. We need a hat. <laughs> and why do we need a hat? Hmm? It's a giant. That's right. When you talk with your child, you build vocabulary. And learning starts long before school does. For more tips, go to bornlearning.org. Brandon! Welcome back, everybody. I see that you stayed with us. Sam intimidated you. Good. Good. Good job, Sam. Good listening. Good listening. <laughs> so we said earlier it's football weather, and football was on yesterday, and your Niners put a spanking on the Buffalo Bills. Oh, yes, they did. We're actually doing a, a whole crusade of just New York teams. We took care of the Jets, 34 to nothing. Yep. Then we took care of these Bills. Was it 45 to 40? 41 to nothing. For, no, they I did score. It was 45 because they did score a field goal. Oh, right, 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 right. 45 Either 30. way, in the past two yeah. nights, it's been 75 points. To three. Do the Niners play the Giants at all in the season? Next week. Do they really? So it'll be a rematch of the NFC Championship. I'm pretty excited. But along with mine, I got to compliment yours. Thank Patriots, you. Patriots, offense. Thank you. They're running. Our run game and our run defense, for that matter, has superbly improved. We, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis was good, but I think Shane, or not Shane Vereen, um, Stephen Ridley has that little something extra. He had like 160 factor. yards. He had 151 yards and a rushing touchdown. Um, I think we're, I, I was skeptical first. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we could do it. But now I'm starting to think, all right, those two losses were kind of a fluke, especially the loss to the Cardinals. Don't even get me going That's on right. that one. Um, we won't talk about it. We're going we're gonna to go. We're going to make it to the postseason. I think we can make another run at the bowl. Um, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was a Niners-Patriots Super Bowl. You know, that was my prediction more so just because I wanted that to happen. And it, yeah. was, it was that close to happening. So we're two of the top teams next to the Texans and the Falcons as well. Yes. So. We could be wouldn't be good. surprised if those were the final four. But to hear more about sports. We got Jill. Jill Jill's laid got on real us. sports. And if she makes another jab at me, I'm going to cry. But what do you have, Jill? Thanks, guys. So, the refs are back. I'm back. The Yankees are the AL East champs. Life is good, people. The Yankees, as well as many other strong teams, have kicked off the greatness known as October Baseball. Start making your bets. I could see the A's going pretty far this year. But controversy has already stirred the playoffs at the Braves-Cardinals wildcard game. The umpire made a delayed infield fly rule call, which made fans not too thrilled. Braves fans showered the field with garbage for what was seen as a garbage call. The game was delayed 20 minutes after that, and the call was not reversed in football news. The Green Bay... <laughs> Woes continue. Green Bay had a chance to force overtime against Luck and the Colts, but Mason Crosby missed a 51-yard field goal. Finally, the Giants had an explosive win against the Browns. Right off the bat, Bradshaw fumbled, hand-delivering the Browns a TD. However, that was the spark the Giants needed. Bradshaw ended up having a career-best 200 yards in the victory. 
Speaking of victories, the Falcons beat the Redskins, topping off their first franchise start at 5-0. But the Red Redskins star, Robert Griffin III, did not get up after a hand hard-hitting, suffering a concussion. Not only did they lose their star QB, they lost the game 24-17 as well. Talk about a bad day. Back to you guys. We're good. Thank you, Jill. A lot of sports info. A lot, a lot of sports going on. When she mentioned about Packers and Colts, talk about an amazing game. It's almost reminiscent of a young, not, not comparing Peyton to Andrew Luck, but mm -hmm. just to see like Aaron Rodgers as one of the elite, if not the most elite quarterback in the league. Getting upshone by a rookie. In the final draft. Was that his first fourth fourth quarter comeback win? For I believe Angela? so, yeah. I, mean, I, think very, so. I think now the Colts are two and two or three and two, or two and three maybe. Two and three, I not think. Not looking great, but compared to last year when they were, they were 0 by five. five. Yeah. So, I, mean, I thought Peyton Manning should have got MVP last year just because it, it No, I because <laughs> I know there was talk about that. Oh, they go to the Super Bowl and they make the playoffs when he's their quarterback and they mm -hmm. lose them, they don't win a game. How much can one person affect the team? Yes, he affected the whole team. However, I think to actually get the MVP, you have to actually oh, no. play. Oh, no. So, Cass, no. I think that'd be outrageous to actually got it. But oh, it's something that's actually funny to talk about. I agree. But another football news, Matt Castle getting hit. Matt boom. Castle got booed out of the Chiefs game in the fourth quarter. He got an injury. I think a concussion, maybe. He was on the ground for a solid, I think, like seven minutes. The, the, the team just overall was not performing very well, and then the crowd booed him, or actually cheered, I'm sorry, cheered when he cheered got taken out. Cheered for his out. injury, so not good sportsmanship yeah. from the actual fans. Pretty, no. a sad side for the NFL to say the least. These players are risking their lives essentially on the field for your entertainment. Show them the respect that they deserve. Exactly. Um, but moving on away from sports, I think we have Michelle coming up on entertainment. And fun fact for all of you watching, Michelle attended the Dropkick Murphys concert last weekend. She entered the raffle and she won two tickets to an all-expense-paid trip to Ireland. I know, so her and I will be going when the trip happens. And we're, we're both really excited. She so. told me I was going. Mm, Michelle? Miss Michelle, who's going? Boys, boys, no need to fight. I'll carry both of you in my luggage. It's no problem. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. And um, hello, Quinnipiac. I'm Michelle Arapidian, and I'm here with your entertainment news for the week. First thing I have for you is some Chris Brown and Rihanna news. And we all probably saw this one coming, but the two were caught canoodling in New York City. Uh, there's actually a picture of him leaving her hotel. And, um, you know, I could have seen this one coming. He apparently, the rapper, explained that he w um, has a video where he explains how he fell in love with her. And he broke up with his ex, uh, well, his girlfriend, now his ex-girlfriend, uh, a supermodel. And he explains how he was in love with both of them at the same time. And um, honestly, I guess she just, you know, maybe she just didn't get hit hard enough or maybe she likes it. So there you go. Um, in other news, Christina Aguilera came out with an album, and it's called Lotus. It's a little bit risque, and there's a little bit of controversy going on about it because she's kind of a little bit um, naked in the album cover, but you know what? She flaunts it, she looks good, and it's supposed to be representing her as a lotus flower blooming. Uh, her single, Your Body, is on this album. And because the singer came out with this album, she will not be on The Voice, uh, the TV show The Voice, as a judge for the next season. And there's actually rumors going on that Shakira will be taking her spot. And um, also CeeLo Green isn't going to be on because uh, he's going on tour, so Usher will be taking his spot. Uh, so are the rumors. So that's, that's kind of exciting. And finally, the movie Taken 2 has come out. So um, Liam Neeson is in this movie, featured in this movie, and uh, it's following the first Taken movie where in the first movie his daughter goes to France, gets captured by some Albanian uh, female traffickers, and you know Liam Neeson comes in and kicks everyone's butt. So the second one is basically the same thing, except this time they're after his wife and him, and I don't know. It kind of sounds a little bit, um, a little stupid to me, but what do I know? So um, let's just roll with it, okay? Uh, it's actually number one hit right now in the box office. So go Liam Neeson, kick some more butt, and back to you guys. Thank you, Michelle. Are you going to see Taken 2? I want to. I want to. Mich Go ahead. The thing about Taken 2, and it seems awesome, but it's just like, if I were Liam, I'd be like, maybe my wife and daughter aren't very responsible. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should just let someone else take care of it. That thought never crossed my mind. I'm just saying, if you saw the first one, I you remember when he comes one. back and yep. he brings the daughter? Yep. His wife, or I think it's his ex-wife at the time, yes. is completely like, oh, thanks, but you should have done that anyway. 
a little respect. Show some happiness. Oh, you yeah. just got your daughter back. Anywho, Michelle had mentioned, uh, I believe, Rihanna in her in her little clip there. But speaking of Rihanna, she was formerly named Esquire's sexiest woman alive. However, there is a new queen in town, Miss Mila. Mila Kunis. She's gorgeous, isn't she? She's delightful. Oh. She is just a buffet of deliciousness. Look at her. Oh, she's she's looking at me. She wants me. Yeah, she does. She's okay, gorgeous. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> I do agree, though. I think she earned a uh, sexiest woman. I think she deserves it. Yep. Um, my She's not my personal favorite. I think she's gorgeous. She earns it. I'm still a big, big Salma Hayek, Salma Hayek fan. Okay. Bro, I know. A little older. Accent? It's just the, I mean, maybe because I'm Latin, too. It's just, okay. there's something about her. She's just, All right. we're trying to keep a G, too. So maybe that's. That's true. I'll, we'll keep it as I think she's very attractive. Who didn't keep it G? Yeah. Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey. No, she did not. On American Idol, they got into a little bit of a tussle. I believe Nicki Minaj said, quote, I will stab that woman. Another quote that she said, that if I had a gun, I would shoot her. Yes, yeah, so a little bit of tension between Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj. A little Minaj. bit. So I let's th thank God there are no weapons at the set. Not yet, at least. No. So hopefully American Idol doesn't get too negatively affected by them. If anything, I think it's good for the show. Because, I mean, I, oh, I, yeah. I, I'm not a fan of the show. I don't personally watch it. But you think after a couple seasons, it's it's it would lose its substance yeah. a bit. So... Maybe let them fight. If Paula and Simon can fight and get it, like make the show a success, then maybe Mariah yeah. and Nikki can too. Let them throw a couple so. bows. I guarantee you, it might look good for Fox. Or it's Fox that does. Yes, it yes. Metal. I guarantee you, your ratings will go up if you let them get after each other. Oh yeah. All right. Enough about Hollywood. I'm sick of all these actors and performers. Let's go back to sports now. Mm -hmm. Alyssa's going to talk to us about QU sports. I don't really know what's been going on. Do you have? I haven't been a very good fan. So keep me updated. Thanks, Dick and Sam. Well, I'm back, like Jill said. Well, we're, both of us are back with sports, but I'm also back with Q Sports. So let's get started. The men's soccer team won this past Friday and Sacred Heart 1-0 with the winning goal by junior Tim Quigley. The men's next game is this Thursday against Monmouth at home, so come out and support the team. The women's soccer team also won Friday against Wagner 4-1, with two of those goals scored by sophomore Christina Cesarini. Seniors Taylor Healy and Crystal Burns also scored one goal each for the Bobcats. Their next game is next Sunday against Mount St. Mary's at home, so also come out and support them. It's that time of year again. The men's ice hockey team will open their season this Saturday, the 13th, against Robert Morris at home for Parents Weekend, so bring your family to the TD Bank Center to watch the team. Don't forget, Midnight Madness is this Friday, October 12th at 7 p.m., so come to the kickoff of hockey and basketball season. Well, that's all for this week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Alyssa. Another spectacular sports update. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. So, I guess the soccer team, speaking of Nicki Minaj and... Uh, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. A little cat fight going on there. Apparently there was a little bit of scuffling at the men's soccer game. I, psh, two fights, I think. I heard the officiating was a little bad. Hey, as long as you come out victorious, I say... Quinnipiac did come out on want. top. Just, sometimes you, know, you got to let the boys play. Hey, go Bobcats. Yeah. Let's keep it at that. We're going to take a quick commercial break right now, though. When we come back, we'll maybe do some cup of somebody. Can't guarantee it'll be Joe, though. Bit of a gamble. I but love to gamble. Indeed. I know you do. I Stay do. tuned. <laughs> you know the rules. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Cue cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney, here at Ray and Mike's. We didn't see you there. Caught us a little off guard, but that's okay because we're the hosts and that's our job you, to stay on our toes. You sneaky viewers, you. Sneaking up on us. So this weekend, I don't know if any of you knew, but it was the Frisbee Fest, which is the, I guess, philanthropy and fundraiser for Alpha Chi Omega sorority. Do you know how much money they raised, Sam? No. Please inform me. They raised nearly, I think actually over $30,000. That's as much as the average American makes in a year. That's 20000 less than our, than our tuition. That's a lot of money. If they did two Frisbee Fests, that'd be a year's tuition. Tell me about the Frisbee Fest, because I'm a little uninformed. To be honest. Uh, what they do is they do Frisbee Fest, Fest, wow, to kind of raise awareness for domestic violence, because mm -hmm. one of their sisters uh, in, in a previous year was killed by her boyfriend okay. in a domestic violence uh, dispute. So they kind of do that in memory of her um, and to raise awareness. And Frisbee is just what they do to get everyone involved. They had a dunk tank, raffles, of course, Frisbee. Um, and actually, what they did this year, which I thought was very respectful, is they invited um, Vern 
Brown, I think is his last name, okay. the Chartwell's employee who was yeah. just stabbed by his girlfriend. They mm -hmm. invited his family kind of like in memory of Vern because since he was killed by his girlfriend, they thought it was fitting to. Good, yeah. awesome. So it was a very good time. I, I had a team play. We lost in the semifinals to Sigep, who yeah. became the eventual winner. So like I guess it, if you're going to lose, you might as well lose the champions. Lose the I always champions. say that. It's bittersweet. It's very bitter. Mm, a little sweet, but it's So they didn't have you in the dunk tank, though? I did not go in the dunk tank. That would have been pretty funny. If for $3, though, you can call out any Alpha Kai you wanted, and she had to go in the dunk tank. That is hilarious. It is. It right. is. That's awesome. It was and a good awesome time. raising money. Absolutely. And then, um, real quick, Steve Jobs, October well, 5th. It was uh, October 5th is one year anniversary from his death. Just kind of reminiscent to the new iPhone that's coming in. A little sentimental, but don't forget the man, a revolutionary. Absolutely. But on to other news besides a Steve Jobs. A woman who is revolutionary. Ooh. Sarah. Quite. We got a cup of Sarah. Let me see in that cup. Yeah, revolutionary. All right. I like that, Nick. Okay. Let's see. We got some questions. Very excited. Okay. Hey, Joe. That's awkward. What did you think of the presidential debate? It was all right. I just studied for a midterm, so like I only half listened. So I was kind of upset. So, pop tarts or toaster strudels? Obviously, toaster strudels are the greatest thing ever invented. So, like, I mean, they even reference it in Mean Girls. If it's referenced in Mean Girls, then it's good. Obviously. So that's cool. Who do you like better, Sam or Nick? Explain why. This sounds like one of those like things on a test where you can't just say yes or no. You have to explain. I love Sam and Nick equally. You guys are wonderful. You're being hilarious today. Okay. Hello. How are you? <laughs> That's a really bad question. Okay. Obama or Romney? I honestly have no idea who I'm voting for yet. I just got my um, out-of-town ballot, though. Shout out to East Brookfield. Thank you for sending it to me. So um, I really don't know who to vote for. Okay, I watched the debate. I still got to do some research, but I don't know. I'm a registered independent. Yeah, free thinkers. And do you Q you? Back to you guys. We'll find out if she Qs you next week. <laughs> yeah. um, in the meantime, some news. I don't know if, you, if, you, if you're a sports fan, you obviously couldn't ignore the whole Sandusky. Oh, absolutely. Situation. Um, he's actually facing trial in the next couple of days. And he'll actually be getting a sentencing. He's expected to get about 373 years That's in prison. That's a really long time. But what I don't understand is why not just give him a life sentence? I've never understood. I mean, I, again, I've taken a couple law classes, and you'd think I'd learn a little bit something about that. But what's mm -hmm. the point of even giving, like, multiple life sentences? I, I don't At a man it. who's 68, it should just be, he's got you're maybe, going to be in jail until you die. That should be 20 years thing. left on him. Exactly. I, why it, not just give him 20 I mean, it makes years. it sound extreme, like, till eternity. Like, like it's like, carrying <laughs> over into heaven or hell, for that matter. <laughs> it might. Either way, that'd be hilarious if that's the case. God smite him. And we just didn't know. No. But right now we're going to move on from Sandusky because he's a horrible person. But we're we're going to go a little political. Political to a wonderful person, Tom. Tom's got lots of thoughts. Take Tom, it away, Tom. What are you thinking? Thank you, Sam and Nick. And now for this week's Tom's Thoughts. For those of you who didn't happen to venture on Twitter or Facebook on Wednesday night, Wednesday was the first presidential debate of the 2012 election. Just when you thought it couldn't get any more ridiculous, they were allowed in the same room on national television. And as you guessed it, craziness happened. They were talking about Medicare and Social Security and other very riveting topics which kept the audience on the edge of their seat the entire night. To be honest, the only reason I watched was so I could live tweet it. I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. I don't think they had any idea what they were talking about. And Jim Malera certainly had no idea what they were talking about. We were all sitting there just for an hour and a half just hoping that something interesting would happen. For all those who love politics, this debate was the cream of the crop. People who love politics study up on the complicated stuff just to make people like myself who don't really care look bad. It's not cool at all, by the way. If you're, talking, if you're taking an effort to learn more about their policies, don't make people who are too lazy to do it feel bad about it. Trying to make an effort is too much effort anyway. Since when did everyone get so political? I didn't hear anything about the election until the debate. It's so funny now that everybody's Jon Stewart once they watch two hours of politics. It's either that or everybody has been surveying the political landscape uncharacteristically hard lately, which seems pretty unlikely. For those of us who did actually do, uh, go into this thing blind, we learned two things. Barack Obama has no idea what he's going to do. Every time he was addressed with a problem, he was like, now these are problems, and we'll find solutions. Or, I like Obamacare. It's good for low-income families, it's good for the economy, and it's good for the American people. <clears throat> we know that there are problems, Obama. Certainly, I don't know what the Dodd-Frank bill is as well as you, but 
you know, I'm not going, I know we're going through some hell here. Uh, what we learned about Romney is that the dude knows how to use Wikipedia. He was pulling out outrageous stats for literally everything, and he even mentioned something about the Spanish government. Safe to say that he could write those articles himself, but let's save that for another argument on Tom's thoughts. Let's just say it's called Midipedia. But in all seriousness, I care about America. I just say things I don't mean to make you laugh. If I didn't care about America, then I don't care about myself because I'm technically an American citizen. These problems that they talk about are greatly going to affect me in my future and I have to care about them. They might not be the most riveting issues, but they're issues nonetheless. I hope we get all these problems sorted out so we can live in a world where no one is criticized for every little mistake that we do. Now that I got all that emotional saving my ass mumbo jumbo out of the way, I can't wait to, for the next debate. Back to you, Nick and Sam. Thank you, sir. Wow. Let's go to trivia after this commercial break. Thank you. Big test today. Not side to side, brush in circles. Shampoo? Lupa? Gianna, am I, uh, am I doing this right? Nope. Is that what you're gonna wear? Looks good. Looks good. You got five minutes. Don't forget your breakfast. That's a good thing. Have a great day. And don't forget to tune in. Welcome back, Andrew. You have trivia. Give me the correct answer. Go. Thanks, Nick and Sam. What popular movie franchise turned 50 years old this past weekend? Oh, crap. Let's see. 2012, 15. Well, that's the 60s. I didn't hear the question. Uh, or maybe it's the 50s. Oh, maybe it's the 70s. I don't. Movie <laughs> franchise. I don't. No, that's not right. Back to the Future. I don't know. Uh, rush Hour. That's not right at all. Uh. <laughs> It's actually 007, James Bond. Duh, we should have known that. It's coming out. <laughs> I'm still winning, I think. Maybe. I have, I have none this year. I'm either two to one or one to one. It doesn't matter. I'll take a tie for right now. Um, I'm very upset. It's okay. I'll get it next week. I'm sorry you're still it's okay. losing. I know. I just need, I need one W. I feel like the Browns. <laughs> or, well, the Saints. Before this week. Before this yeah, week. I feel like Drew Brees last week. Let's put it that way. Who worked so hard and it still didn't pay off. I know. I know. Well, well done. For us Good job for it. stumping us. Yeah. Most of the time we get it. Most of the time, time one of us gets it. And not this week. It's a little upsetting, especially since I do a movie segment. You, think you would think bit. you had the upper hand in that category. Rush hour. I, was, I just panicked, you know? <laughs> I really don't know what happened there. I was there. really going to say Jaws, but I was like, wait, Jaws is a summer movie. It's almost October. Or it is October. Mm -hmm. And so... It is what it is. I can do. We got a couple more times. I'll catch up. I'm just gonna say. You're not going to catch up because I have continued to dominate trivia all the time. We'll see about that. But you know what? I think that's all the time we have for this week on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always a great pleasure being with you, Sam. Absolutely, sir. If you want to get involved with Q30, log on to our website at www.q30.org. Uh, come and come down and join the morning after show. We meet every Sunday night at 8 o'clock, I believe. We go live every Monday morning at 9. Anyone can join us. You don't have to be a communications major. Anyone. You could be a biology major. Come on. And We're have some friendly fun. people. We're not yeah. bad. We don't buy it. Look at me and Sam. We're a good time. Yeah. Um, good time. Always a pleasure to have you Bobcats watching. Hopefully you'll stick around for next week. Signing off, I'm Nick. I'm Sam. Come Adios. back next week.